all right so what is going on today youtube yes we are back on Yu-Gi-Oh pro um we are uh, actually going back to the old uh the old Yu -Gi Oh pro because man just ocg is just tiring as you can see we opened up actually really decent but <clears throat> yeah we're going back to the old Yu-Gi-Oh pro so i'm gonna limit myself from going into extra deck monsters but like i said my opponent no, not like i said but my opponent can uh do pretty much whatever he wants uh, so yeah, I'm gonna limit myself to really like to play like I only you know I only have a link monster zone. So it, I mean I can still do double Omega and shit like that, but um, When I did come on here, I did see that they are um, definitely oh my god So good. All right now before I activate this pre prep. All right. I want to let you guys know All right. I right, just want to let you guys know man. Just just bear with me. It's I'm testing this this is actually the deck I played at a locals, but I tried to do a live deck profile and that, that shit didn't work. So <clears throat> we're going to start off with the pre pep. So just hold on to your socks. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so let me see. What can I do? I can definitely see that's. Oh, wait, what am I talking? Oh, no. See, I can't do that. Now, stay with me here because the plan gets a little convoluted and a lot crazy. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't do the play I want to do. So, yes, 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 I am playing. Uh, this is this, 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 this relax, relax, my guys. Um, so, what we can do start off with this. We can special summon this by attributing Mizuki and a Hound Horde. Bam. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. We need to, um, we need to, um, not auto card placing. No, no, no. So, uh, is he going to let me through? Book of Moon. Because why do you play Book of Moon? But that's fine. That's fine. We can actually, uh, just end up we can actually do a lot more because of that so um sadly we can't get Saphira's effect oh we can send gozuki huh that'd be three thousand actually we can just search gozuki with this and also have an omega on the board so that's that's definitely good so you're definitely going to do this play don't have a maxi come on all right so <clears throat> yeah so uh, i did end up going to locals on a sunday and i end up going undefeated uh play it was only four rounds we end up splitting um, uh, uh, pretty much, uh, me in the first place end up splitting because we, we homies. So, I mean, we split it and then like, uh, it, it was just like a weird, um, uh, like a weird circumstance because like it was two, there was two, like two people that, I mean, there obviously two people that draw, but the fact they draw and, um, they went undefeated. So like it was pretty much a four way tie. So it was, you know, it was a little weird, but <clears throat> We are okay. We can just search Gozuki with this. Uh, sadly, this got booked. But if that didn't get booked, we was gonna do some damage. But uh, <clears throat> yeah. So at the end, I'm gonna do a little deck profile, and I guess I can talk about a couple of rounds. So the first round, I played against True Jayco, and I'm like, goddamn, I'm about to lose. But what pretty much, I end up winning the first game. In the in the second uh, second game, I end up losing. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna start with the Omega because he's definitely gonna have some extra shit. Um, I'm so glad I'm playing. Whoa. Why would he not do that? Anyways, so start off playing against what? What are you playing? Okay, I, I don't care. I, I really don't care. Um, but uh, yeah, so I uh, end up playing True Jagos first. I end up winning the first game uh, pretty convincingly. Uh, but yeah, I end up winning the first game. Second game, I end up losing because uh, I, I could have won if I did a different play, but there was literally no way that I was going to be able to uh, predict that he had an Imperial Order because I, I had an Origin and I could I could use the Origin and then I drew top deck the Burial. So like I ease like I easily could have. Um, what do I want to send it? I think I just want to send it. All right, so I, we got game. So let's just go for game. But um. Yeah, easily could have went into a, uh, no, we don't, do it. oh, I forgot, this is not, Jesus Christ, this is prompting me for everything, huh, but, um, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying, yeah, so, <laughs> fucking, uh, I, I, I had a, he had an Imperial Order set, and, like, and, and, and uh, the Dynamite Knuckle, the Water one, so, I, I activated Burial, and he flipped, uh, Imperial Order, and that's pretty much, I ended up losing that game, but if I would have activated Origin first, um, oh, wait, this triggers, right? Oh, God damn it. Two down defense. 
oh wow he actually doesn't lose but actually he still does but yeah so i mean i could have activated origin and then burial and then like that would have been you know that would have been game because i would have changed it to the imperial order and i would have been up beating them but like i said i was never going to suspect that it's imperial order um this was not on my radar so yeah so i end up losing game two game three end up going into time but magical springs the card i've been talking about man for like the past couple of months that card is so goddamn good against true dragons i really don't understand why nobody was playing it uh and none of like none of the decks i've been seeing is like nobody was playing that card so it was like it was really weird and uh, with this play we can't go Star uh, scarlight because omega was brought back um, by his effect so he would be in the monster zone regardless so yeah we end up getting a win against jinzo which is you know no i don't want to protect Ooh, get hit with that thousand all right so that is the end of the first game so we're going to get one more duel because man we're back on Yu-Gi-Oh pro playing tcg we're doing pretty good all right here we go up against goshi loki loco goshi loco let's see what we draw Ooh, we've actually drawn good and yes i am playing uh powder desires even though uh, it was it was it was just it was terrible it was terrible but like i said i'm oh wait oh wait no we was one card off all we needed was a mizuki and we could have did the play um hmm I'm, you know what fuck it do we desires fuck it. let's desires let's desires folks let's see what we hit hopefully we don't banish all the mizukis because that's going to be a problem oh god we drew a burial this is good oh no i don't want to look at the rest of my deck thank god all right so that is good and actually this is really good um hmm, i'm gonna do a different play i'm gonna start off with a different play but since i have the burial i'm definitely going to uh start off with a very different play um hmm I can, no see i can't do the play yeah i'm de well, watch this play right here folks this y'all gonna be like man this, this man is good but i i really believe that we're i'm strongly believe that we're going to get a uh uh, uh Vindrea, whenever it's sent to the graveyard for like a synchro or something or probably a ritual you get special summon like a Vindred from your deck or graveyard i don't know this is going to be a spell card that does some shit so with this omega what we're going to do is we're going to return him alive and i know what you wonder why it's because we have the pre-prep of white and what that means we can add this right back to our hand tribute to slurry we can go ahead and get a 2500 um, booty on the board that gets protected by him like and I get to draw to discard one which is good and then if we top deck our origin or pre-prep we are just straight and since we have a burial this Mizuki does not really matter because we can use it so yeah I, I, all, in all things considered I think we're doing pretty good but yeah so um, yeah game three I end up winning in time because of magical springs so that was just amazing because they can't destroy their spells and traps. Oh, we're playing Fluffles. This may be very bad. I, I've never seen this deck. In, I mean, gear, Ancient Gears do play. Okay, well, shit. There, there it goes right there. Well, you know what? I don't think I'm... You know what? Mm, fuck. That's an actual good choice. Um, Should I do it, folks? Fuck it. You you got the OTK. You got... All right. That's good. Um, That's good. He's probably going to have a Gear Town. So we would just... Oh, Fireball. Oh, that, that's game. No, it's not. It's not game. It's not game, folks. It is not game. We only take 2,000. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll take a 2,000. I'm, I'm not tripping about a 2,000. That's okay. Actually, we could have took 3,000. I just don't know why I didn't use it. He's going to take 2,000 himself. So that's fine. And we top deck Origin. We're, we're just... I think we're gonna actually going to win this game. Um, well, he only takes 1,000. Never mind. Nope. Top deck is Sage. That's... That's... Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's disheartening. Um, let's activate this pre-prep. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, game three, Magical Springs, man, pretty much uh, end up winning me the duel, which was just so good. Um, so I can't, can't, can't get mad at that. Um, and then game uh, round two, I played against World Chalice, which was just a very odd deck to play. Let me see, what can I do here? I can go go Zuki. There's no. Oh wait, I can go Zeta, huh? Yeah, let's attack over this and then go Zeta. So let's start with this start with the Himalite. I want to establish the Himalite. I want to establish the Himalite on the board. Um, let's go ahead and distribute the Slayer because that's just easiness. Um, whoop, whoop. So that's going to definitely trigger. Let's go ahead and just try to do some damage here. Attack with uh, that guy. He's going to limit removal. But yeah, uh, round two, I end up going against World Chalice. He did not open up good the first game. Second game, uh, he opened up decent, but I just end up winning. And I forgot to side in my 
Ash Blossoms. Okay, he's going that route. All right, so that's cool with me. Um, actually, it's not cool because he's... Yeah, we, we need to do some damage. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Okay, I'm not tripping about that. Let's attack you. Um, we're definitely going to go Zeta here. And we can go Zeta because, once again, um, Omega is um, a factor. Oh, we can't go Dweller, huh? We can't Dweller the fuck out of him. So that... That's good. All right. So what we're going to do here is send for the Unizombie. And we're going to dump the Gozuki that we probably... No, we did not banish. So that's definitely good. Use Gozuki. We're going to banish this Sage. Yeah, let's banish the Sage. Special summon the Hound Horde. Now we're able to go into a Zeta. Once again, we're able to do this even in Link format because Omega's already used his effect. That can definitely come back. Um, we could Burial right now. We can burial. We can't get these two back, but we can definitely burial for a Kozuki play, but that doesn't really do anything. So I can discard. Actually, I can discard a card out of his hand. Do we want to do that, folks? Let's actually do that. I think that's a lot better. Um, actually, we don't now because now you have the trap. So we definitely know what you already have. Yep, let's just end our turn with that. And yes, we're going to use Sephira's effect. Draw two, discard one, which is just so good. Ooh. Go ahead and get rid of it. This is why Sephira is good. But yeah, World Chalice, uh, first game we didn't draw nothing. Second game, uh, okay, but I end up beating him. Uh, and then uh, round three, I end up playing Dinos. First game, I it was, it was he was going back and forth. End up OTKing him. Game two, he started off uh, with, oh shit. Oh no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's actually really fine. Uh, most we can take is 5,000. I mean, the most we take is uh, 4,000, even if he does get rid of it. But we do have the Zeta, so that's fine. Gonna set that. That's cool. Um, but, ooh, Soul Charge. Oh, let's return these two. What? Okay, they didn't let me choose. Oh, wait. I, oh, I have to banish that again, huh? <laughs> I have to banish that again, huh? Wait, what did that trap do? Let's see the chart. What is that trap? Uh, you can only activate once you target one inch you get a something. Okay, no, that, that doesn't do shit. All right, so that's gone. Yeah, get it off the board. Get it off the board. And this wouldn't, this wouldn't even be game. That's the sick part. Actually, that no, that's not game, huh? Nope, that's only, it's only fifty something. So let's return that. Oh, we could turn that to the grave, so he can't even like, we'll wait. Absolutely not. He almost got me with that one, folks. Um, actually, almost got myself. Uh, we can only we don't have to return three. We can return two. That's cool. Um, don't 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 flip it. I was about to say, please don't fucking flip whatever you got down there. And I believe we have the game right now because we can go ahead and start summon the Gozuki and end our game. So, first day back on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, we are doing pretty good. That is that's fancy. Let's go ahead and use the effect. Effect. Hopefully he does not have anything. Um, let's dump that. And then let's go ahead and proceed to attack. He probably has another one of this. Oh, or is it a Mirror Force? Oh, it is not a Mirror Force. Yes, we have won another game. So, yeah, man. Just going on a little undefeated streak. So, yeah. get About to get into the deck profile real quick. Hold on to your socks. And we'll be right back. Right back. Ooh, this took 13 minutes? Jesus. Alright, so this is the deck list for today's video. Like I said, this is what I played at Locals. End up going undefeated. The side deck really had a, a, a big feature. In the, I mean, this Magical Springs. Magical Springs was the only card I actually drew. So, yeah, this is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, man. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, all I ask if you guys can click and add, that'll be enough for me. So, thank you very much, and I will see you guys tomorrow.